everything. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to ONN. Very, very uh, this is not a news flash. This is actually a, an outburst for myself. I don't want to sound in this, uh, rather, in what I'm gonna say next. I know people are gonna criticize me and say that I'm trying to be <laughs> inflammatory and incite people to commit violence. That is not my goal. I don't like violence. No one in the right mind likes to see scenes of violence. But you know what? What is violence? What? Ask yourself a question. What are our governments doing at the moment other than violence? People are dying at the moment because of decisions of governments that are ruled by oligarchs. So if that's, that violence is already happening, it's not seen on the news, it's not seen on BBC, it's not shown those stats of people, for example, dying in England because the government decided to reduce the heat uh, fuel payments. A lot of people, old people, are dying because of that. Or they have died already during this winter. If that's not violence, what is violence? So violence is just someone picking up a stone and breaking some window? That's your uh, conception of violence? Is that all? You finished there? Violence is someone shouting against the police because they had enough? That's violence for you? Violence for me, my friends, is more than that. Violence is everywhere at the moment. We've been imposed these draconian measures of these governments that are nothing else but fascist governments. Fascism which is a word that many people are afraid to use nowadays. But it's exactly what is happening now. Europe is finished. The dream of Europe that many people had, a united Europe, is finished. It's very easy to look around and see how governments are fighting against each other just because they putting in front their interests of oligarchs and banks. In the middle of all this, here we are, the people, the humble people, the hard-working people. They were dreaming and were bought into this dream that these people sold to us a few years back. That we're all going to live in a dreamland and everyone was going to live happy in this so-called Europe, United Europe. Where is that United Europe? There isn't that United Europe. We have to realize that's gone. That dream is gone. We've been misled by these people. We've been fooled. And we've been violated. So, what is going to be our reaction? I'm not asking you to go to the street and start picking up stones and breaking windows. I'm asking you to actually realize what is happening at the moment. Realize that when you go to work, I understand that you have to live your life, but when you go to work and you just go home, go back home and decide to turn on your channel and watch X Factor, another kind of entertainment, dumbing down uh, programs that are just made to, to make you blind and not realize what's going on around you. And when you decide just to behave that way and be ignorant or decide not to listen and, and seek for the information that you should be seeking for. You actually being an accomplice and allowing your government to behave in this way. So please, I ask you, information is power. Seek for it. We live in the 21st century. We have the technology to actually be able to seek for this information. Don't allow your government to dumb you down, to, to, to keep you oblivious of what's going on. Don't allow them to keep lying to you. Because if you allow them to do that, you're allowing them to punish people in other countries. Please, people, it's time to act. It's time to change the way we behave. 
Thank you very much for listening. And I hope this message has actually reached your heart and made some change in your mind. Thanks. And take care of yourself. <laughs>